Hello, everybody. Happy Monday. Welcome to my live. My name is Robin, and I'm with Robin's Egg Blue Creations, and I'm also an independent designer with Chalk Couture. Um, I've been with the company about three years. Uh, I just celebrated my third Chalk anniversary in, in June, so um, it's just been a great company. I really enjoy the products. Once you hop on the live, say hi so that I know that you're here. Uh, tell me where you're watching from. I'm using an online platform called StreamYard, so I'm actually multicasting to not only my Facebook business page, but also to YouTube. I wanted to be up front in case you happen to hear me um, refer to comments that you may not see in your feed. Uh, those viewers may be watching on a different platform than you are. Um, and that reminds me, I want to share this to my group. So I'm going to do that really quick. Oops. Hold on just a moment while I share this. Copy link. Hello, Mr. Jason from Minnesota. How are you doing this evening? Love you. Um, so I want to go to my groups. I'm just going to share this really quick. There we go. Okay, I'm all on. For those of you that don't know, Mr. Jason is my husband, but he is viewing tonight from Minnesota. So glad to have you on. Um, we are going to be doing these cute little canvas pencil pouches this evening. I have had these in my stash for a long time. And just for your reference, they measure a little over 10 and a half by nine so they're very roomy you can store lots of stuff in these but i'm going to make these specifically well they don't have to be specifically but i do have teachers in mind so i'm going to be using the i don't rise and shine i caffeinate and hope for the best and then also this is an older transfer it was a club couture transfer from april of 2020 so it's a cute little typewriter and then in the piece of paper i think i'm going to use the take note um, I do also have a shopping link in the description of the videos on both YouTube and Facebook. So if at all, if at any time during the evening or after the video, you want to check out that link, it will drop every, most everything into your cart. You can add or delete as necessary. Um, so that will be available to you. I also do have other links to my website, my chalk site my other social media platforms in that link. So go ahead and take a look at those after the video. So these are reusable silk screen transfers. So they do have a sticky back on them. And anywhere you see the white is where the, the silk screen is. But because these are reusable, and they are reusable about eight to 12 times, depending on how well you take care of them, I am going to write the, um, name of the transfer on the back that way when i go to clean them and i'm ready to put them back on the backer sheet when they've dried i know which one is which um you don't think that would make a difference with these two size transfers but they have changed the size of the transfer just slightly so some of the newer transfers are just a smidge wider and so they don't always fit on the same backer sheets even though they're these are both side B transfers so I'm gonna use my ink mat to put inside of these and what this is is it's just a sticky mat and it's gonna do a couple of things it's gonna stabilize my fabric of this canvas bag so it, again, it is sticky. Um, so I'm just gonna place it in here. It helps to stabilize the fabric. And just like that, it got rid of all of the wrinkles. So that's the second benefit. And third, it's gonna help my ink from transferring to the back side of the canvas pouch. So 
um, I'm going to peel the trans the backer sheet off of the transfer. And if you've watched any of my videos before, you'll you've known that I've I sometimes will fuzz the transfers, uh, but because this is on fabric, I want it to be as sticky as possible, so I'm not going to fuzz this time. But I am going to smooth it down really well. I think it goes that's pretty good so for this one i'm going to use black velvet couture teal and couture coral um i just have to figure out where uh, where i'm going to use the colors i know one mug will probably be teal and one mug will probably be coral and some of the words will be black but I just don't know if all the words should be black. So you could probably use your help on some of that. What do you what are you what do you guys think? I need your thinking skills this evening. So I'm gonna go ahead and do these two coffee cups because I know what I want that I want each of those to be teal and coral. You tell me where you think the words should be. I can't, here's what I'm leaning towards. I'm thinking, I don't, the and sign, and hope for the best in black. And then I'm thinking maybe rise and shine in the teal and I caffeinate in the coral or vice versa. So let me know, you think the ampersand should be teal? Even if I do the these words black, these two words black. I think I have that pretty fairly even. Okay, so I'm gonna do the two coffee cups. Or do you think all the words should be black and then do the ampersand and the coffee cups in the teal and coral? Decisions, decisions. Well, let's at least do um, the two coffee cups. So I'm just dipping my squeegee into my ink and tonight I am using ink. It is heat set permanent. Mr. Jason says he likes my idea better. So I'm just so I think I'll do rise and shine in the teal. And so then I want this cup to be coral and I want this cup to be teal. So I'm just going to place my squeegee gently. I'm learning to kind of have a softer hand when it comes to inking ink and to do light pressure, hoping that it doesn't squeeze out the sides. And ink and canvas and I have not been friends, but we're, we're going to keep trying. Sometimes canvas has a tendency to bleed for me. I don't quite know why, so maybe the softer hand will work. And so now I'm just dipping my squeegee into the uh, coral. And I'm always conscious to make sure that I don't have any on my fingers. Again, I'm trying to use a lighter touch. And I can take the excess off and put it back in my jar. Okay, so I think we can go on and do the rise and shine in teal. And I really like using the ink. You don't have to worry about it drying as fast as you do with the chalk paste. 
So you have a lot more work time. I do find, however, that I sometimes have to go over it, especially a porous fabric like canvas. It, the ink is really going to soak in. Uh, so as I sit here and ink on it, I will notice that there are some blank spots just from where it's um, soaked in. So I'm just going to take a squeegee. This is just a, a small squeegee that I've cut into a mini mini squeegee let's try to get to this little spot up here okay i think i've got all of that done okay i probably should have gotten some wipes out okay so now i'm going to go to the coral and i'm going to do i caffeinate Did everyone have a great weekend? Mine was busy. I had, hey, Miss Amanda, how are you doing? I was just asking if everybody had a great weekend. I had a, well, Amanda knows because she came. I had an ink wor workshop on Saturday afternoon and then I had vendor bingo that evening and I actually won on my own usually Jason goes with me and he wins everything for me <laughs> I never win but I actually won the blackout at the end of the night so I got I won a prize from every vendor it was really of course I also won my own back but it's really cool I was excited So I'm just making some canvas. I'm glad you enjoyed it, Amanda. I have your shirts upstairs. I, they're good and dry. I've pulled them off of the ink mat and now I'm gonna heat set them at what, after I get off of here. Um, so I'm just working on some canvas pouches. Um, they just look like this. They're about nine by 10. Um, so I was gonna do two. Okay, so I think I have those two done. So I'm going to go ahead and close up my ink um, just so I don't have any more disasters than I need. I think I'm done with, yep, I'm done with both of these colors. Probably should not be doing this over my project. Um, Amanda says, Oliver says hi. Um, winning big is exciting. Hi, Oliver. How are you? No, you haven't been holding me back. You've been winning for me. I don't need to win if you're there. I'm just going to grab some wipes really quick because I forgot to pull them out. I'm especially careful not to get ink on my hands when I'm doing this because if I happen to put my finger down on the canvas pouch, anywhere that I don't want ink with and I have ink on my hands it will get everywhere and it won't come off so now I'm going to go in with the black and I'm just going to do the words and again I think I'm going to use one of these smaller squeegees um, I've learned over the last couple of ink projects to do black last Otherwise, it will just run into all the other colors. Or the other colors will run into it if you do it first. Black will cover up other colors. Hey, Ashley, how are you? You did make it. I'll have to go back and watch your replay so that I see what your reverse canvas looks like. I gotta make some more of those. I love making reverse canvases. So I'm just making some teacher pouches. 
They are or some little canvas pencil pouches. They're about nine by ten. Um, so I'm just going to make a couple for the back to school bash that's on the 21st. Trying to get a bunch of teacher gifts made because trying to make up for the 13 years of public school that we failed to send Dane with teacher gifts. I just would always think about it too late and then I just wouldn't. Yeah. Plus, I think Amanda said it a couple of weeks ago, you know, when my kiddo was little, we didn't have Pinterest. And if I don't see it as an idea, it is it doesn't it isn't in my head. I am a copycat crafter. Okay, so now I'm gonna do the ampersand. So what everyone else do for for their weekend? I told you I had a couple of vendor events. And then I had to clean up all the limbs from that storm that we had on Saturday night. Our driveway and our street was full of little limbs. It's crazy. Okay. Just making sure I got all the spots. Oops, nope, I missed. I can see that I missed a small spot right there. So I'm going to pull my squeegee for the teal back out and so I can get that spot. See if I missed any more. <laughs> Amanda, you do not have naughty kids, but it's still nice that you send gifts. Your kids are not naughty. Okay, uh, just clean my hands and then just got stuff all over it. Okay, let's peel and reveal and see what this looks like. I'm going to try to go slow to see if I have any spots that didn't get any. Yep, I can see. I've never done this myself, but I've watched the designers put stuff back down and re-ink it or re-chalk it. So let's just give it a whirl and see what happens. I'm just so afraid it won't get put back in the right place. Therefore, I don't do it. And part of this, I have to remember, is rustic. So sometimes where there, it looks like it didn't ink very well, it's actually part of the transfer. Yay! I think Canvas and I are back on speaking terms again. So I'm going to let this dry and then I'm actually going to clean it. And so you hopefully, if I don't, um, I'm going to clean my transfer after this, if I can get this dry enough to move. So I'm just going to clean up my spot a little bit, get some of these colors out of the way. Try not to hit my mouse because that bumps me out of the studio. Okay, so let's dry this. Thank you, Mr. Jason. So while it's drying, I this was the project I was going to do last Friday, but I just plumb ran right out of energy. But before my live on Friday, I made these tassels. Um, I was going to hang them from the zipper. So I'll let you decide which one you think looks the best. I've got this plain coral one. I have this one. It has a bunch of different colors. I have a sparkly. I don't know if you can see all the little sparkles in there. I have the sparkly mint one. Okay. Lay those three out there. These two I actually made for the other bag, but either one of them would also work. So I have this tassel, and I have where did the honey thing go? And I have this pom pom. So I'll let you guys decide which one you think looks good on there. 
I'm kind of leaning towards that one. And we could even do two. If that's not overkill. I could maybe cut them shorter. And then we could do two. Amanda says coral. So far we have one for coral. Ashley also votes for the coral. Once again, if you hop on, tell me that you're here. I use an online platform called StreamYard, and it doesn't tell me who's on, so the only way I know that you're here is if you say hi. And I want to make sure I know that you're here. So this one says, I don't rise and shine, I caffeinate and hope for the best. Also, if you wouldn't mind giving this video the heart button. Also, if you could, if you wouldn't mind sharing it or tagging your crafty friends in the comments. Jason says he was leaning toward multicolor since it really picks up all the colors, but I defer to all the coral votes. Well, we can look again. So here's here's your coral. And then here's the multicolor. Yeah, I think I might prefer the coral as well. I think this is too looks too close to the bad color. It's too light of a background. again okay it's not quite dry but i wanted to clean my transfer to show i haven't i haven't shown you all how to clean the transfer for a while so i thought i'd do that i gotta let's put that up there so i normally do this in the sink but my sink is on the other side of the wall so i can't get to it so i just I have this, this tub is usually in my utility sink, and so I just kind of rub it on the bottom. It's just kind of a habit I've, I've always done it that way. It just kind of helps scrub it. So see, it already got most of that ink off. And then I just take a board eraser. It's very similar to a magic eraser. It just doesn't have a lot of the chemicals. And I just, and I know you can't see it because my water's kind of dirty, but I just rub the board eraser on the top side of the, transfer just to get the rest of that ink off. That did pretty good. Get down on these, oops, get some of these corners. So then I'm going to wring this out. I know I've seen you wear your shirt with that transfer. Um, uh, I had a, a small ink workshop on Saturday and Amanda's friend Joy used this transfer uh, at, for a shirt. It turned out really pretty. Okay, so then the next thing I do is I just take it out of the water and I just, it's just over here. So I turn it so that the sticky side is up and I just grab a disinfecting wipe. Um, I do have baby wipes over there, but I don't use baby wipes on the transfers because sometimes they'll have lotion in them. But these, you can take the disinfecting wipe and it will just clean off the back without removing any of the sticky. And sometimes I flip it over just to make sure I got it all off the back or off the front. Let's 
so then I will just stick it over on my side table right here, sticky side up, and it will dry maybe 10 minutes and it will be good to go. So there you go, that's how you clean them. Okay, so now get my put my board eraser away. So then I think I need to borrow, make sure my surface is dry. So I'm going to steal the ink mat out of this one. It should be okay. Because I my other ink mat is too big. So I'm actually just going to put this washcloth inside of here. Actually, no, I take that back. I'm just going to put the backer sheet in here. And we'll let that kind of sit over here. So then I'm going to grab my other pouch and put the ink mat inside of it. And this ink mat is the 11 by 23 ink mat that I've just cut. I cut one piece a little longer than the other one. Um, that's great. You can get an ink, two ink mats out of one. And so we'll bring in our next um, transfer. This again was the April 2020 Club Couture transfer. I've actually sadly never used it. Um, I didn't, I, last year I didn't chalk a whole lot. Um, so a lot of them have gone unused. But you'll notice that this one has white cut lines. And you can cut your transfer completely apart. I like to leave my backer sheet intact. So I'll just take my transfer trimmers and I'll just score it along that cut line. That way my, my backer sheet stays intact. I, uh, for a long time, used to cut my transfers apart, but when I had five or six people at a, a workshop, I'd end up with a thousand pieces of backer sheet, and it was just too much to um, keep track of. So remember earlier, I did write the uh, name of the transfer on the back. That way I know that this transfer goes on here because these are reusable. So I'm going to peel the backer sheet off of the transfer. I prefer to do it that way so it doesn't accidentally stick to itself. I'm just going to try to eyeball it as best as I can. Actually, here's a, another trick. Um, if I line up each end of my transfer, so like this side of the transfer ends here, this side ends here, I kind of line them up and then pinch right here in the middle. It kind of gives me a little crease line, right? I don't know if you, can, you probably can't see that, but I now have a little crease line where the middle would be. And so I can kind of line it up that way. And then I can also use my cutting mat to kind of help get the center. Okay, so I'm going to press this down really well, make sure I don't have any air bubbles and that it's good and sealed. This has a lot of screen material, so I want to make sure that it's stuck down where it needs to be stuck down. And I'll be honest, this much screen with black ink on canvas kind of scares me. We aren't friends. I'll have to make sure I do it really lightly. Okay. So I think I'm going to do the body of the typewriter in black and I'm thinking about doing the return and the knob in silver. And then I'm going to surprise you with the letter colors and I'm going to actually make Yep, that fits. I want you to guess what you think the ink color will be that I use for the phrase inside the typewriter. 
Okay, so we'll get our black out. And I'm going to, because I will notoriously forget, I'm going to use our placement tape. And I'm going to tape off the return. I think that's what it's called. I know that's what it's for. The paper return mechanism. Because I will inevitably get to going too fast and will forget that I wanted to do that a different color. And then I'm going to tape off this knob. Because uh, again, I will. <laughs> Jason, that is not the color that I will be using. That color shouldn't even be in the rainbow, in my honest opinion. Um, close, actually. Not quite, though. Okay, I think I'm going to get a bigger squeegee, but we'll probably use more than one size. I'm just... Amanda says something bright. I'm afraid it's not going to stick. Okay, so I'm going to go slow and I'm going to go light handed. Try to make sure that I don't have any bleeds. So I'm just dipping my squeegee. I'm, right now I'm dipping it into the lid so I don't get a whole lot because I don't necessarily need a whole lot right now. Although, I also need to, Amanda says rock chuck colors, red and blue. Mm, nope. I'm not, I mean, <laughs> honestly, I think I'm a bigger anti-purple fan than I am a Jayhawk fan, if, that, if that's even possible. I know I'll probably lose, I'll probably lose a few people and make a few people mad, but it is what it is. Okay, so I'm going to get a bigger squeegee. I'm going to put a lot on but just mainly so I don't have to take as many swipes I'm going to flip it upside down. See if I can get the bottom easier that way. And I can tell this black is really soaking into the canvas. So I'm going to check to see if there's any Places that I may have missed that didn't hit real well. That looks pretty good. Okay, so let's check our hands. Looks pretty good. Oh wait, before I peel, I gotta do the silver part. See, I need to make the placement tape in a different color because I always manage to miss it. Read on a minute. 
same coat. Oh, well, you're, yeah, you're getting a little warmer, Ashley. Okay, so I'm just going to rub these areas back down as best as I can. So we're going to put silver there. Oh, that was Amanda that said that. Sorry. My apologies. You're pretty warm, Amanda. And not eucalyptus. It's kind of in the um, eucalyptus teal family, but not quite. Okay, so we're just adding silver to the knob areas right here. And then I'm going to add it to this return, the paper return mechanism. If that's what that thing is called. Ah, Ashley's right. Ding, 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 ding. Tide is one of my favorite ink colors, and I do not use it enough. I think I made a I made a no drama llama t-shirt a long time ago um, with the tide and the teal mixed together. Otherwise, I haven't used it very often, but it is one of my favorite colors. Oh, <laughs> Amanda says, sorry, I don't know the fancy names. I like staying with primary. Yeah. I think, didn't you use, what colors did you use in your wife, mom, boss t-shirt? I think that darker color was tied, if I'm remembering correctly. Or was it? Okay, so I think we're ready to peel this. You don't have tied yet, Ashley? I'm, yeah, I think it, yeah, it's still a color. looks pretty good. I missed, I will be honest, I missed a few spots, but I'd rather miss a few spots than have it bleed. So like I said before, canvas and black ink and I do not get along. So I'm pleased with it. We're going to let that dry. I'm going to clean up my ink and hope to, goodness, I do not, I should probably put my little cleaning trays on the other side so that I don't have to reach across. I found the neatest little stacking trays at the bullseye playground the other day and they're perfect for holding my um, they do stack it. They don't stack right now because I have a board eraser in there. But they just hold my all my little uh, squeegees so I can carry them to my utility sink easier. I also used them the other day um, at our class. And it, it was great for just care, you know, holding your odds and ends. Oh, and I still have black ink all over me. So just a little helpful tip there. If you have a target, those little stacking trays are... They work great. Okay, so let's give this a little dry. Mainly up here, because I'm going to put my sentiment up here. I don't know why we shake it like this. <laughs> it doesn't make it any more effective. Like, Just have it. I'm not the only one. Ashley says Target is starting to get new items. Hobby Lobby has new work surfaces. Are they back in the um, craft department? I did see a few new ones the other day. Um, are they back in the um, unfinished wood section? I'll have to take a look. I was at Target. 
Thursday or Friday. I didn't have a whole lot of stuff. Yeah, the new wood surfaces are back there. I'll have to go take a look again. I have so many things that I need to chop or eat that I have to keep reminding myself not to buy new stuff. Like, I've had these two pencil pouches in my stash to eat for um, probably two and a half years. I tell you, I have gotten a lot more craft projects done since we moved here and my craft space is right next to the family room. I don't feel so guilty about, I don't feel so guilty about uh, crafting. Okay, I think that part is fairly, it's dry enough that I can put something over it. So, Miss Ashley was right. We are using Tide. I thought it would be a fun color with that black. Um, and since this is going to hopefully be a pencil pouch, I thought the take note would work really well as a sentiment. Oh, gooey. Doesn't want to stick. So I'm just going to gently make sure that that's down. Okay, so I'm going to get... I wonder if I have a smaller one in here. Yep, there's another little mini. <laughs> Ashley says she doesn't need anything either. I know the sad thing is, is Hobby Lobby is on my way home from work. It's either take a left and go home or take a right and end up in Hobby Lobby. Okay, so I'm just using this Tide. Look at that fun color. It's gorgeous. And I'm not going to need a whole lot. So I'm just putting some Tide ink on my squeegee. I'm going to try to do as with a light of, as light a hand as possible so it doesn't bleed through. Okay. Oop, there's a big line right through the middle. Okay. Put my lid on. Check my hands. Oops. Stuck that down to the other one. Okay, so there you go. There's our take note. Get my hands clean again. Okay, so let's. Place that up there. You can see that? Very old school looking. I'm just going to dry that. Teal goober on it. Afraid if I stuck my finger in there, I'd end up with black all over me. Okay, so we're going to dry this one a little bit. Now, what I'll do with these is I will probably let them dry overnight. Um, it's just what I prefer because it gives the ink a good chance to dry. And then I will heat set them with my Easy Press. And I usually do that about on. Uh, I usually set it to 305 degrees, and so I'll press it with parchment paper over it for about 30 seconds. And that should heat set it. You can also heat set with just a regular iron. Um, and I would set your iron um, to the fabric setting that you have. Um, and then heat, I would just move it, keep, keep your iron moving across. Um, your design, try putting some parchment paper 
or a thin discount over it. And then just use your iron for a minute or two. I wouldn't go any longer than that. The directions say four if you're using a regular iron, but I've known I've known of people scorching things. Okay. So we'll take I mean, like I said, I don't have to take the ink mat out of that one. So we'll bring our other one back. And did you guys decide on coral as the tassel? I'm throwing things around over here. So this is the tassel I made. I just used yarn. Um, I have a little gadget that makes tassels. So I'm just going to, I think I'm just going to loop it like a, a larks or a, I don't know what that kind of loop is or well, the kind of knot, but I'm just going to take my tassel back through its own loop. And then you've got a cute little tassel. And it's also your little zipper pool. There you go. And you can add charms to it. I could add I could add another tassel if I wanted to. So there's that one. And it still it still needs to dry. So I'm gonna stick my backer sheet back in there. So there's that one. And then we'll pull. the ink mat out of this one. Thank you, Ashley. I'm just glad to finally get these done and out of my stash. Um, let's push that up. So here's the take note typewriter. And so on this one, you get to choose again. Do you want the tassel? Or do you want the pom-pom? So you get to decide tassel or pom-pom. And I'll let you guys decide. Cue the Jeopardy music. We've got tassel. Oops. Uh oh. I froze. Oh, there we go. Tassel or can pom pom. I'm kind of liking the pom pom on this one, to be honest. Let's see if I can get that through the zipper pool. Oh, Amanda, you said you like the tassel. Well, let's put both on. Oh, I think I can get them both on. Okay, so here's, there's the tassel. Right there. Or the pom-pom. So I think we can take this off. Pull it back through itself. And here's the tassel. So then there's the tassel. Ashley also says the tassel. Cool. This just means that I need to go back to Hobby Lobby and buy, see if I can find some more of these. Because I did buy them a long time ago. I don't know if they still carry them, but I have a pom-pom waiting for a pencil pouch. Okay, so my vision for these was if there are teachers out there that are pen hoarders, just like I am, I could use these to hold their pencil, their pens. And you know, I have to put my favorite Friction Pilot erasable pens in there. You could even throw in a pair of scissors. And you're all ready to go. So there you go little pencil pouches. Dang, I need one for myself. That can hold a lot of pens. Okay. Well, I 
that is the um that is all i have for you these two projects i'm very glad that you decided to watch with me this evening <laughs> you don't have that much stuff amanda well you could put fabric in them put all your little fabric scraps and um arrange them by color uh, though that would work or uh thea's hair bows or um i don't know what else but I bet you I could find some stuff at your house to put in them. So that is all I have for you this evening. <laughs> uh, Amanda says, then you need a bigger one if it's for fabric. Well, Hobby Lobby carries tote bags as well. We could ink you up a tote bag instead of a pencil pouch. So there you go. So I thank you for watching this evening. Um, tune in again tomorrow. I will go live as well tomorrow. So I'm going to sign off for the evening. Thank you very much for watching, and I will talk to you later. Have a great evening, everybody. Yep.